Hello Smart Scholars, welcome to the Endocrine System section. Today we are going to be looking at the overview of the endocrine system. Now the endocrine system or the hormonal system is made up of a combination of cells that work together to synthesize, secrete a biochemical substance called hormones. Now what is a hormone? Before we go on, there are some key words we are going to be looking at in the course of this section. The word hormone and the word gland. What is a hormone? A hormone is a biochemical substance that is synthesized and secreted by glands carried by the blood in a unidirectional manner to target organs where they exert their effects. So the target means of transport is the blood and the substance, the biochemical substance, which is a hormone, is synthesized by the organ called the gland. And the gland, all right, is specific to synthesizing hormones that are what target specific. Why are they target specific? Because the hormones have what we call receptors. that recognize and all right that these hormones recognize and they bind to and they exert the effects in the target tissue by the way the first time the word hormone was used was in the year 1905 by e h stalin the word hormone all right talks about excitement and we see what this word does it excites the tissue sends signals to the target tissues now we are going to be looking at the major glands in the body that secrete and synthesize hormones. From the brain, we have the hypothalamus, all right, which secretes signals to the, and sends the signals to the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland, also situated in the brain, is also called the master gland, made up of two lobes, the anterior and the posterior lobe. We have the thyroid gland and the parathyroid gland, which is located around the neck region, responsible all right, for metabolic processes in the body. You will understand why sometimes some people feel lethargic, they can't move, it's actually attributed to a thyroid function. Now, we come down to the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is made up of two components, the adrenal medulla and the adrenal cortex. The adrenal medulla is responsible for the epinephrine and norepinephrine hormone, which is the flight or fright hormone. The adrenal cortex is responsible for the synthesis and secretion of corticosteroids, which is other words is called the stress hormone. Now we have the pancreas. The pancreas is also a digestive hormone that secretes and synthesizes insulin and glucagon responsible for carbohydrate metabolism. Now, a derangement in the pancreas, all right, results in a pathological condition called diabetes. Now, we'll be looking at that, all right, in detail in subsequent videos. Now, we have the testes, which is, all right, predominantly, all right, for the males that is responsible for the secretion of the hormone testosterone. Testosterone plays a major role in the male reproductive function. Now we move over to the ovaries. These are the ovaries. The ovaries, all right, can act as a gland and a reproductive organ. As a gland, they synthesize and secrete two hormones, estrogen and progesterone. We'll be looking at this in detail in subsequent classes where we'll be looking at the menstrual cycle. We'll also look at the ovarian cycle. We'll also be looking at, all right, spermatogenesis, which is actually exclusively to the male. Now, I have an interesting question. The hormone estrogen, is it exclusively for the females or for the males? We'll be answering that in the next class. But for now, what we have achieved is to look at the major glands in the body and all right, 
we have an overview of their function. We've seen the definition of a hormone, all right? It must be carried by the blood, the endocrine, all right? And taken to the target tissues, which have specific receptors for them. So we've seen the major glands in the body, okay? And subsequently, we'll be going into detail into the function of these hormones. Now, you must understand this before we leave, that hormones are classified based on their structure, based on their function. Now, for the structure, we have the steroid hormones and progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, they all fall into the class of hormones called steroids. Now, the steroids have a parent compound called cholesterol. We have the protein hormones, which is the, all right, the insulin. We have the amino acid derived hormone, which is all right, the tyrosine. So we'll be looking at all right, the function of this in details in subsequent classes. Make sure you drop your comments in the comment section below and looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.